Thank you, Ken Corla. Now, Minister, this debate is very timely as it follows the publication of the Safe Ireland report tracking the shadow pandemic, which makes harrowing reading. The stats have been well aired here today, so I won't repeat them. First of all, Minister, I want to thank the former Minister, Regina Doherty, and the Government and the Department of Social Protection for putting in place the Emergency Rent Supplement pilot programme for victims of domestic violence. Speaking to many of those working in the field, uh, this speedy, non-means-tested avenue to help victims of domestic violence transition from abusive situations is working well, and it's working well locally. That's what I, I hear also. According to one practitioner I spoke to, she said the responses from social protection have been open-hearted and generous. And as I said, I know it's working in my own constituency. However, Minister, it is absolutely crucial that this programme is mainstreamed. So good cooperation with social protection, good cooperation with justice. However, Minister, when it comes to the role of TUSLA, there seems to be no ring-fenced money within the TUSLA budget, notwithstanding the fact that domestic violence is a national priority. It seems that the domestic violence unit within TUSLA has been abandoned. As I said, no ring fence money, and I hear that nationally, and I hear it locally. For example, we hear they gave 800,000. But if you look at Safe Ireland, from fundraising, from the generosity of the public and corporations and artists, they gave 500,000 during the same period of time. So it, it needs to be dealt with. And finally, Minister, I want to draw your attention to the fact that you know it, but I want to say it again, we do not have a dedicated domestic violence refuge in Sligo Leitrim, and there seems to be little or no progress to putting one in place. Yes, good cooperation with the local authorities, with housing and homeless agencies, with landlords, but we need a dedicated refuge. And I would ask you, Minister, if you have any positive news in that direction. Thank you. Thank you.